The last thing that is remaining before it can go off to the scrapyard is to get rid of the airbag. And obviously that has got a detonating charge in it that um, fires as soon as you have an accident um, and the scrap yard won't take the seat when it's still got that on. So the best way to get rid of it is to actually uh, fire it yourself. So the airbag is attached to the side of the seat. I had originally removed it but I've just used one bolt to hold it back in place so that it doesn't actually uh, blow off into the air and go too far. So what I've done is connect into the wires and with some jump leads following that back to the battery and then touch the battery when I want to trigger it. It's gone off and there's obviously a bit of a smell of kind of gunpowdery fireworky type smell and I'm not going to touch it because I believe these are very hot when they first go off but you can see how that airbag has deployed and how that would protect at the side of the chair. So I've now removed the airbag from the seat, it's all cooled down and I'm just going to show you exactly what it's made of. So you have a triggering mechanism at one end, you see then a bag that just expands with air. You can see the internal mechanism here that sits inside the airbag where the charge goes off from, which is obviously quite a thick metal canister, but with one end where the gas can be released from the explosion. So as as the inter internals here um, explode, it produces the gas which then fills up the airbag and uh, cushions any accidents.